Garage heaters are the ideal way to maintain a constant comfortable temperature in your garage, workshop, or job site. Unlike central heating systems or space heaters, garage heaters rely primarily on infrared heat. Infrared heat is absorbed directly by your body and the objects around it, which makes it an effective and efficient way to stay warm outdoors or to heat spaces that are poorly insulated. If you're interested in buying a garage heater, there are five key features that you should keep in mind before making your purchase. First is heater type. There are two main types of garage heaters, electrical and gas. Electrical heaters work by heating a coil that radiates heat out into the surrounding area. Gas heaters are connected to a gas line or a portable gas tank, and they heat their coils by burning either propane or natural gas. Gas heaters are generally used to heat larger areas than electrical heaters, up to nine times as large. But they require constant ventilation in order to dispose of dangerous fumes, and they're not as efficient. About 20% of all the gas they burn is vented as waste and isn't used to generate heat. The second feature is heating range. Heating range is the amount of heat that a heater, a heater can generate, and it determines whether or not it's going to be effective in the space you want. Uh, for electrical heaters, heat output is measured in watts. For gas heaters, it's measured in BTUs, British Thermal Units. There's an easy formula that lets you determine what size heater you need for the space you want it in. First, measure the space, length and width. Multiply those figures together and divide by 200. Then, multiply that number by 9,000 if you're heating in an insulated space, or by 6,000 if you're heating in an insulated one. The resulting number is the amount of BTUs you need uh, for the space you want. If you're using an electrical heater, you can convert BTUs into watts by dividing by 3.1412. The heating range on new air units is always displayed on the side of the box. You always want to make sure that the heating range is as close to optimal as possible, otherwise you're going to be wasting a lot of power every time you turn on your heater. The third feature is safety. Garage heaters generate a lot of heat. That's why we recommend that you keep all combustible materials, such as furniture, bedding, pillows, paper, clothing, and curtains, at least three feet from the heater at all times. To avoid, to avoid burns, make sure the heater has fireproof intake and discharge grating. You also want to make sure that it has an automatic shutoff switch to prevent overheating and a tip over switch to, that will shut the unit off in case it falls over. The fourth feature is maintenance. Electrical and gas heaters have very different maintenance requirements. Maintenance for electrical heaters is simple. With a damp cloth, wipe down the casing. Then take a, a vacuum hose attachment and vacuum out any dirt that's inside the heater. For a gas heater, the process is much more intense. You need to check the air intake and exhaust vents to make sure there aren't any blockages. You need to vacuum dirt out of the fan motor and then wipe, scrub down the burners with a metal wire brush to make sure that there's a consistent gas flow. You also need to check the gas line to make sure there aren't any leaks. And you need to check the ignition system to make sure it's sparking properly. The fifth feature is portability. Not all garage heaters are portable. Some have to be hardwired into your home or connected directly to a gas line in order to operate. Uh, these he heaters are usually used to heat very large areas um, and are often mounted to walls and ceilings to save space. Portable heaters are small, compact, and should always have a carrying handle to make sure they can be transported safely. Uh, portable heaters are often placed on floors or workbenches and are usually used to heat spaces between 500 and 600 square feet. Those are the five key features you need to keep in mind before purchasing a garage heater. How they apply depends on the size of the space you want to heat, uh, the amount of time you have to maintain your unit, and how you want to use it. For more information, visit newair.com to see our full line of garage heaters and learn more about their features.